Hey guys, BallTW here, and it is Wednesday, so it's not actually Tuesday, but we do have your reviews on deck, and I'm also doing Pro Evolve reviews right after this. It's a double header, so anybody watching on Twitch is gonna be getting both the viewers and the pros right after each other. I'm gonna be doing one hour sessions of both, um, because I have a lot of things that I need to do before tomorrow, and uh, I'm doing the pro uh, today. Not only did I miss Monday, but I'm not gonna be here tomorrow, so, we're going to be trying to get in as much content as possible for the weekend. And we'll be back on Monday with more pro reviews. So it's going to be fun. But regardless, let's get it popping. Today we're doing viewer VOD reviews. I asked for a bunch of endgame VODs. And what we're going to do is actually um, look at this from the point of how do you improve, right? How do I review a VOD such that I come out of it um with an understanding of what i did wrong and how am i going to fix it so let's go first up we got two foosts and i'm watching in high speed for some reason here we go wait, wait, wait. we got the mats over here so i asked for a bunch of end games so you can see it's already um first circle just got or the half in half out zone got revealed this is about the timing that i wanted right before it starts moving Yeah, yeah, there's still. We're gonna watch this all the way through. So first thing I want to do when I watch Endgame VODs is look at the setup. 500 wood, 400 brick, 400 metal, or 500 brick, 400 metal. So that's okay, especially now that we're slightly into the um, to the Endgame. He's obviously used a little brick. The metal count is a little weak. Obviously, I'd want to be 500 metal at this point. I don't know mobility. I want to know what he has for mobility and loadout is okay. He has a good amount of utility and he has three big pots. So his health, his, his loadout is good. His setup is very good. Max brick. So I'm not going to say, hey, this end game, your biggest mistake was your setup. You sucked in the early game. You sucked in the mid game. I could say that for some other VODs that we're going to watch today, but that's not a big issue, right? And what I want to do is every single time I want to watch a VOD, I want to identify one critical mistake that made me lose the game. And then I want to say, how do I fix that critical mistake? Just tunnel towards me. And oftentimes, for people, it's going to be, your setup sucked. Why is going to be the question. And then we're going to say, you need to do this on your rotation so that you can get this amount of whatever, whatever. Or you can get this frag here or whatever it is. Okay. There's something specific that you need to be able to come away with. I'm noticing a lot of, like, haphazard kind of... Uh, Kind of like movement throughout his builds and like if I back up here real quick on two foost Right here like you see like he he realizes that these walls are not covered and there was even there was even a point before this like You see like he's not really covering himself properly and then when he even wants to go back to the mats Like Yeah, this is specifically what I'm talking about. I think he even edited down one point where he's out in the open. Yeah, right here like it's very haphazard, very like, oh, I want to go fast, I want to go fast, I want to go fast. But in reality, you're actually slowing yourself down instead of just being really precise and going through this. So that's that's an issue. I, I feel like he would get beamed if people were paying attention to him, if this was a really, really good game. Doing that is wasting time and you're, you're exposing yourself way more than you need to. There you go, aren't you? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, they're chasing. Oh my god. Little edit course. Like in my turtle. Little edit course. I don't have an AR. Okay. Okay. So we got five stinks, three bigs. We both got a jump. Okay, so they do have a launch pad, so that's good. That's another point for mobility. Yeah, he just tried heavy sniping me. The reaction there it puts this guy in the storm. We're good. Gotta watch out for that. I'm not seeing a huge concentration on exactly what his teammate's yeah, doing. Let's late jump this one. Like, kind of feels like they're doing stuff like by themselves, and he doesn't really know exactly where his teammate's doing or what his teammate's doing. And this build is like really, really awkward. This is one of the reasons why it looks so haphazard going through it early, is because this build is like so awkward with the stairs. There's nothing like perfect about this little base that they have here. Everything is like super awkward to move around in. Like, look, look at this. Like the stair here. And this wall edited like this, how can he get to his teammate without re-editing? You could easily have a clean base, right? 
These dudes are psychopaths behind us though, so watch out. And that's one of the reasons you see in EU why a lot of people just like edit, they, they get a two by two and then they edit these all to be like this normal, like little thing so that there's not this weird corner or anything like that. Wait, I would get a wall in between. Just come over here. You're launching right. this one. Okay. I'm gonna put it down right here. Okay. What am I drinking? <laughs> that shit stank. Ugh. Get on these builds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Watch out for people trying to land on. Okay, finding that build was good. I feel like he's very exposed, but since he's not getting punished for it, it's okay, right? He's he's like very exposed to people who are rotating in and can take shots at him. There, finally he blocks. He continues down. in. Guy landed on old builds over here. I'm with you. Some ball just fucking went off. Yeah. Shot. You're getting. Fl he's getting flustered with the um. No, it's a one. With the ball oh, here. The balls are so oh. dumb. Guy right here. Let's just get in. Just get in. So toxic. Yeah, like instead of just like getting in zone and like putting something where the ball is not gonna like do anything to you, like to like a, a decent walls around you and then sitting on a floor or something like that. Like you, 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 we keep getting frustrated because we're walking on one thing and he, he keeps breaking it, right? All right, I still got a bunch of mats. Good recognition of the mats. Oh, we got top 12? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get picked. Same. Got one? Nice shots. Got a shot out. We got knocked. We're good, I John. I still got height. I feel like there's also not much uh, watching about what else is going on. He's just kind of like, they're just kind of haphazardly tarping, right? And then, um, and then dealing with consequences as they come, right? Try to get up. Like there was no information collecting. All he did was look forward. Okay. I don't know what his teammate's doing. I haven't heard calls from his teammate. I'm not sure if you guys can hear them anyways, but okay. there's no information. Like he could have, he could have expected that RPG. And the other thing is they could have probably not even gotten knocked down if they were not only lower, right? so that they could have more opportunities to connect. Like if we go back at this tarp. Oh, we got top 12? Yeah, yeah. They haven't connected at all. I'm trying to get picked. And they're so high that there is nothing to connect to. He can't connect here, he can't connect there. I'm not sure what the mid ground is looking like because he hasn't looked at it, right? This tarp is so wide that there should be no reason why this entire thing breaks because one RPG shoots back over in the corner at some critical point, right? There should be one random wall connecting in two random spots over here. Same. So that entire part of the checklist that I want to talk about when we go over the pros is there's no, there's there's the connection part is missing, right? And we already saw that this could have been really bad. When this tarp goes down, this could be really bad. Got a shot out. They could have lost height here. We got knocked. We're good. They're they're split right now, actually. So it could still have been really bad, but unfortunately, fortunately, Arjon over here did not get. I still got height. They get did not get punished. And we're lucky actually that he did actually manage to. Uh, I think he killed somebody Trying on his way up. through. One, yeah, yeah, okay. killing one right there. You should have been. Figuring out some way to help him, whether you tarp out this way and get an angle back this way so you can spam and support him. Otherwise, he could have been lost by himself if there was a competent yeah. team down there. Okay, again, right? Again, that just happened. I'm not sure if we took out the RPG, but we need to be taking an option here to connect. We need to be trying to go connect over here. Should go down a little. Okay, go for it. There we go, going down a little bit. This is what I was talking about right now. It becomes really, really much more easy to connect 
And there's also obviously less risk of fall damage. There's, there's tons of benefits with not staying way too high. The shots are easier. You're doing a good job of not taking any storm damage. It's really good. Oh, I forgot I got stinks. Hold on. Okay, that's another point in the checklist, right? Is making sure that you're tracking your inventory, making sure that you know exactly, hey, do I have an RPG? Should I use my RPG? Oh, I have stinks. Oh, I have clingers. Oh, I have I have heals. I can actually hear. Oh, I have campfires. All this stuff is so important to be constantly checking, right? It's like, it's literally a game of, of, of StarCraft, right? In StarCraft, you're constantly, oh, is my base good? Oh, I need to micro this. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do this. This is what you go through in a game of Endgame Fortnite, right? It's always the checklist. I need to connect. I need to check my ammo. I need to review. I need to do everything. This dude's lit. Banana's lit. Banana's lit. Good call on the targeting. Three left. Got banana. Nice. I got two left. Nice pushing. I got 200 masks. Just I think you might have a better time with your silence SMG spamming through uh. Their builds. Nice shot. Nice. nice shot, brother. Let's go, dude. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so now that we've watched the VOD, right? Now that we've watched the VOD, what is the biggest mistake? What is the thing that, it doesn't even have to be the biggest, right? You don't have to identify the biggest mistake. You just have to identify a mistake that you're going to fix, okay? Just one mistake that we're gonna fix. People are saying tarping. People are saying his awareness. People are saying tarping. If they connected more, then they played it perfectly. Pretty perfectly, right? Okay, okay, right? So in my opinion, yeah, you guys are right. It's, it's, it's not tarping specifically. Connecting, there you go, it's connecting. I wanna see him put connecting into one of these guys' mind, okay? So specifically, I'm talking about when they get knocked down because that could have been, that could have been the end of the game for them right there. That could have been the end of the game right there. So one of you, either Tufoost or Arjun, out of this duo, one of you guys needs to take the role and say, and, and you guys need to decide, hey, I'm always gonna be trying to look for opportunities to connect, okay? Maybe it's both of you who need to do it, right? There, there just needs to be something. It, it doesn't matter whether it's, oh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll not stay as high anymore. It just needs literally some solution to the issue of we're not connecting enough or we got knocked out suddenly, right? That's the that's the thing that I'm talking about, okay? So what I say is, Tufu, since you're ahead, you're tarping, off, you're tarping, tarping a lot more than I saw Arjun tarping, you should start putting it in your mind, hey, every time you see an opportunity to connect, connect, okay? And every time you're too high and you don't have an opportunity to connect, go lower so that you can connect, so that this doesn't happen, so you don't get RPG'd down, okay? That's the only solution. Like I could, I could also talk about the awareness. I could also talk about getting, um, you know, getting shot in the open because you're too haphazard walking around. But when you're looking at your vods, just take one thing and make sure you fix it. Make sure you have an actionable solution and do it. Okay. Next game, you're not going to get knocked down by an RPG, and you're not going to have this issue. If you do, then maybe your solution is wrong and you need to go back to do it again. So, thank you for the submission to Foost. Appreciate it. Ooh, all right. Let's do... I'm just going to click randomly, okay? Just because I literally have no... Pr I've, I've watched these all and whatever, but I didn't really prepare much in terms of... Okay, so this zone, he's solo. All right, let's look at the setup again. This is again the 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 setup in the end game. I always start on this. Is the setup okay? Yes. He has a slurp. He has three med kits. I'd rather have probably minis over that. There's no blue heels at all. So that kind of stuff. I mean, there is the slurp. So it's okay. It's good. I'm not sure about mobility. I think he does have a launch pad based on what I remember. Um, he has an AR, a gold AR. Yeah. The the loadout's great. The setup is fantastic. The position in the setup, uh, you know, it could be better. But on the side of zone, whatever. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like at this point in the circle, you maybe could have possibly rotated already, but again, I don't know anything about it. So we do have to consider position in the setup. I think your early game and your mid game are probably okay. There's no issues there. Let's watch.
Okay, let's see looking. Launch pad. Probably worth. Um, I would land mid ground somewhere. Nice glide. Nice glad, nice glad. Place cones in wood. So they can die. I like the teammate. So far, I really like the teammate. He repped. Man, these guys are all psychos. Literally every single person, one of these. Are shooting. Okay, that was that was really bonka. Uh, editing the window, just sitting there. <laughs> if you're gonna edit a window, make sure you're not able to get shot right away if somebody's looking at you. Even just a slight little bit of damage is, is yeah, rough. So you'll know you know they're gonna be using a red if they go for it. Yeah. Uh, see if they got the red. Though. Yeah, they got it. Start like tunneling, maybe. I'm seeing a lot of indecisiveness so far. You gotta make sure you're near them, though. When they in. I think we may be running into an issue in terms of materials if you're building with this much metal so far. We'll see, we'll see. Questionable. You can try and hit that and get air again. It's in the in the storm. Or you can land height. No, 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 someone's there. Questionable. I really like how you're looking up, you're looking down, you're looking left, you're looking right. You're in zone right now. Zone southeast. Like how you slowly went away, you fell down one layer, that's not good because of your building. We should go right back up. Nice. I feel like we could have gotten this trap. Yeah, that was really slow. I mean, remember, if there's one thing that we take away from it, we can we could take something away from anything. Okay, so far, like, honestly, I haven't seen much that's bad at all. That was really bad, getting stuck under your stairs like that, and then facing this guy instead of just getting away, all right? Because he could have one-pumped you. In fact, he should have, maybe. Because that was a tougher shot for him than for you. I mean, for you than for him. Nice. I like that you backed away because of how many people are over there. I don't like how much time you're spending in the zone until you got this kill. <laughs> Once you got this kill, you can spend as much time in the zone as you want, I guess. No, still, like, you just lost 40 HP because of that. Getting away from him, getting one layer up. Nice. Reloading your guns, nice. Nice. What's high ground like? Dude, your teammate, man, is on point. You might be able to, you might be able to well, he's on point, man. What's high ground like? Yeah, maybe let's go. You got height? You got 200 mass left, so just play like slow. Nice. Make 
uh, make the, yeah, yeah, keep spamming that guy's builds and make the guys fight below. Alright, they're about to fight. Drop down a few levels if you can. Alright. Just... One V two. Two V one. Nice, that kid's cracked. You cracked him already. All right, they're All right so. Nice. Try and um stay up. Let's go. Nice, that kid's cracked. You cracked him already. One shot nice. there. They already hit you once before. Nice. I think Try you get down. very lucky here, yeah. but regardless, I no, it's a really good game. Let's be honest here. This is a fantastic game. This is a fantastic game. And I like that you, the way that you finish it and everything, you close the distance between them. Um, but like, you're trading a lot of damage with this jump. This Tfue Classic stuff because they, they know it. You take a, you, no, that's actually fall damage there. There, he trades you a little bit there. You trade a little bit of damage for him. Okay. You don't trade on this shot, I think, because he's not looking at you. Then you trade again on there, right? And that was because of how the builds went, really. And also just, just the fact that you're literally always doing the same thing, right? And then you're always, you're spamming, you're spamming floor, stair, wall, floor, stair, wall every time rather than just, you know, doing one floor, whatever it needs to be. And you do run out of mats. So it's okay. It's whatever. It's the final 1v2. I'm not too worried about that. I am worried about you always taking a shot, right? If they shoot just slightly better, if they shoot slightly better, then you're you're dead in, in just the trade. They played awful. They played terrible the way they did this. They all they peaked you one by one every single time. So whatever. But if even if it's a 1v1, they're gonna if they shoot slightly better, they're gonna kill you. You're basically taking 50-50s every time you take the shot, especially after the first time. The first time, sure, you can get a shot off, whatever. And then you do it over and over and over again. You need to vary your peaks. You need to vary your peaks on these jump shots. Maybe learn to jump to, to crouch peak or a peak at the top of the ramp or whatever it is. Um, you can do better at avoiding the damage there and still getting the shots out, right? Switch it up. Switch from peak from one side of a ramp, peak from a top, crouch peak. Do the jump peak and then switch again. Do all sorts of different things. You do the same thing over and over and over and it's really easy for you to shoot. So if we take one thing away from this, this VOD right here, the one thing I take away from this VOD for you to improve on, if we're learning how to watch our VODs back and pick one thing or even two things sometimes, sometimes it's like, oh yeah, that's an easy thing to, to fix, whatever, whatever, um, and go from there. So you need to switch up your shots, okay? Next time you get in an end game situation when you're, when you're fighting whatever, when you're fighting or even just if you're fighting somebody and you're using this jump shot, stop and do, do a different peak, okay? Do a different peak. Boop, 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 boop. Make the guys fight below. Yeah, we watched this. All right, thank you for the submission, Nate. I appreciate that. Much love. There's no audio in this VOD. Oh, there's audio. That's unfortunate. Um, whatever, we still have four minutes. We still have four minutes. <laughs> I love how you use the pinging to see the loot. No, that's great. That's great. What qualifies as a pro to get review? Um, it's my discussion. My discretion. All right, Jay Dang, let's see what you got, brother.
We got hamster balls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, number one. You're not moving at all in this rift. Not a single little movement. If somebody decided they want to shoot you, there's like at least 100 HP gone, man. That's at least 100 HP gone. Um, did you really, really need to go to zone to grab this piece one high up? Holy shit, micro Holy All right, so far I've seen you take how much damage from zone? Uh, 40 damage. Holy shit, micro Let's see, you're at 70 HP right now. And one more tick. Holy shit, totally. Oh, Jesus. Okay, 40 damage to zone. That was a really, uh, probably not a great peek there. Like, I'm just, again, we're just trying to find mistakes here. That was a really rough peek, the way that you went back into it because you saw him edit. Um, because he has the way better peek on you. And he has the initiative. Like, if you watch this, right here, he's looking at you, right? You don't really know he's there. And then he edits on you. Then you back up into him. Okay, lucky he missed a shot, but that could have been bad. There's another zone tick. You run into the guy that you know is there without being ready. You see this guy and you're not covering and you take a shot. Like we see him for a while. I don't understand at all why you went back there. That just leads to the, to almost taking a tick. Yeah, you see him already here. <laughs> Yo, monka, 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 monka. <laughs> that man said, yo, hello, can I share your tarp? <laughs> he said, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay, honestly, I think I've seen enough um, to basically say what I, what, or to basically, if you lost this game, I know you didn't, but if you lost this game, it would have been because, uh, because I think the biggest issue, if you lost this game, it wouldn't have been because of the storm ticks. I think that's an issue that you need to fix. But if I'm watching this, my biggest takeaway from this is you need to, your, your awareness of people and how, how ha hazard you are about going at them is kind of like the first VOD that we watched. Legit, the, the, there's been like three people who surprised you with the way they peaked, right? And you could have easily seen them coming. You just kind of are, are panicking and going fast, 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 right? So how do we fix that is the question. What do we need to do? What do we need to do to fix that? I don't think we'll run into that issue again.
I like how you're playing in this final zone. Just solid. I can't see how many people are due to the quality, but I like what you're doing. Um, there's only one person up. I'm not sure if you realize that. I'm not sure why you go in the zone again. Oh. How did you just rush him? <laughs> Why'd you just rush him? Monka. Okay. Yeah, I think the biggest the biggest thing from that is is um is gonna be your awareness of where people are. And so like I want you to basically to to come up with a solution for that. Let's go back to some of the shots. Holy shit, micro Okay, you see this guy. You don't even block your back because you're so focused on like you knew he was there. I'm not sure exactly. You, you see what I'm saying though? Or you see what I'm saying? You need to immediately like place a stair or something like that. Like it's not you're not reacting to what you see on the screen. You see this guy in here? I want you to slow down. Just slow down. Okay? Box up, slow down, take a take a take a moment to breathe, take a moment to look, and react to everything you see. Okay. I think there's one more moment over here that I want to touch on. Yeah, this guy right here. Okay, you saw him go over there, but you still go you still go back towards him. Like this guy should have killed you. It should have been over right here. It should be it should be over. But he only hit you for eight damage or something like that. No, okay, he actually chunked you hard. <laughs> that the game should be over for you right here because you made the decision to go into him even though you knew he was there because you're moving so fast. So I want you to take a breather. Obviously in this situation, you're not going to be able to. You're literally not you shouldn't there's no time for you to take a breather. Right? Because you saw him, the storm is coming, you have no way to make a decision, you just do whatever comes to your mind first, but that's because you're not making the decisions ever, right? You're always moving this fast. Like, if we go back, while you're on high ground up here, and you're tarping, or whatever, and this guy edits on you, for example, right? You need to box up for a second, Look around, okay? This is what I'm gonna say. Every time you go you go a few squares, box up and look around. Even though that's not good. Even though that's not what you should do. You should go fast. You should be able to make decisions well. But you, right now, you're going too fast, okay? So you always have to adjust to yourself, to, to what your skill level is and what you're capable of doing, right? So I want you, every every couple of steps, you can come up with a different solution for sure, but if, if I'm watching this demo, I wanna fix my awareness, I wanna fix how I react to people, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna slow down. Every time I box, every time I go three, three or four uh, boxes forward, I'm gonna box up, I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna look down, I'm gonna look right. If I see someone, I'm gonna make a decision about what to do about them, right? And I'm gonna be able to do that because I'm giving myself time in this box, okay? You're gonna put yourself in shittier positions that way, but at least you're gonna fix the, the thing where you're, you know, running into issues with people and not being able to make, make any decisions based on what you see, okay? So you should increase your decision-making by slowing down. Cool. Thank you for the submission, man. Much love. Much love. What do we got? Let's, uh... I already did that. Let's do tropes. No, uh, it's fine. Just don't crash again, VLC. Okay. Okay, buddy. Did I do degenerate? No, I have not. What's up, sick? Let's skip ahead a little bit. Oh, actually, never mind. Hold on. Watch out! I'm sink on him. Not a sink, but he doesn't have to deal with it. All 
I'm not sure who's stinking you. But I'm also not sure why you're dynamiting somebody who you really don't have an angle on. Like, if we watch this back. Yeah, you guys don't really even have an angle to do much on this guy, right? He's right behind a hill. He he literally just needs to back up this way, and he's fine. Like, not a stink, but he doesn't have to deal with it. Took seventy damage from stinks. That might be a big issue going forward. Luckily, you have band aids. Alright, so far I'm seeing that you guys are very aggressive in going for your peaks and going for your attacks. And I think you're not able to actually do anything from that. And you're getting countered because of your position. I think your position sucks to do what you guys are doing. These guys are good to target, but still, I think that your position is going to invite other people to target on you. And I think we already saw that with the stinks. I saw, I, so I don't have my finish, I don't have my finish. You are, you have been standing still for a good 10 seconds here, Bushwa. There it is, more stinks. Alright, I'm gonna skip ahead. Okay, I'm done. Um, I think you guys just need to think about the positions that you are in in order to to capitalize on um, on some on somebody's aggressiveness or on somebody, right? If you guys want to be aggressive, like I think you guys are dead nine times out of ten um, when you guys did what you did in in you know in the positions that you are, right? I think right there you dynamited you literally dynamited yourself on low ground. When there's a bunch of people around you um, and you're not really thinking about where that's going to leave you in conjunction to whatever you, what everybody else is doing, right? You're, you're kind of just like attacking people for no reason and throwing using your utility on people for no reason. So I think you, I think you guys should have lost the game when you use your mobility the first time, right? You, you healed up. I think you should have lost the game here. I think people, more people could have focused you here and killed you. Look, you have a window open here. You have a window open there. You're running in stinks. How much damage have you taken from stinks? Oh, a bunch. You should be dead right here. Somebody should snipe you. You know what I'm saying? Dude, this game, we have actually... And, and, and yeah, so I think le legitimately you just need to think, how can I not get... I can't see you because of the... Kill saved thing. No, why is it making there, okay. Thinking about the position, there was people who could have been on this hill. Where are we actually? Sorry. We're in soccer. Okay, so this is kind of... This is kind of all like a little bit of a underpass type of thing. So there's a hill like right here, right? There's a hill like kind of like this. Or no, so kind of like this. Kind of a little bit of a divot. Okay, so you're right in the middle of the divot, so that's making it so that you can't see anything. So you can't actually 
uh, get good angles on people. So if you do take shots, they're just going to be able to move. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you're centered. You're, you're, you're very much centered. And people are all going to be able to look at you. If you do make noise, if you do bring attention to yourself, you're going to get attacked. Okay. So what I need you guys to do is take, take stock of your position in relation to uh, what you can do. What options do you get from the position that you're in? If you're on this hill on the side over here, you have many, many, many more options because this guy is not going to be able to shoot you. No, nothing here is going to be able to shoot you. These guys most likely aren't shooting you, right? You're so far away from most people that only the people who you're going to shoot at are re re retaliating against you. You got to think about who can retaliate against you regardless of, or no, not who can retaliate against you, who can attack you in, in general, okay? So your position and how you think about whether you you can attack this person or not, whether he can get away from you, right? The dynamite play, for example, the guy could have just backed away from you and you basically are exposing yourself like crazy. Anyways, thank you for the submission tropes. I appreciate it. Um, that's literally, don't waste your time too. If you see a VOD where there's a big, there's glaring issues, and this is not, I'm not saying that it's glaring, that it's terrible, that you're going to lose all your games because you can't, because of this problem, right? If you see a game where there's a mistake that should be the biggest mistake in the game and that you should die from, don't bother watching the rest of it. Sure, you can learn from the rest of it, but you already have such a good concrete thing where you're basically, you're, uh, what's the, what's the way, what's the term? Uh... You know, picking off the easy, picking off the easy things, right? Pick off the easy things. This is easy, and it's such, it's such high value. Just whatever. Go to the next game, implement the the thing, and you're good, right? After the next game, watch it again. Figure out what the biggest mistake is. Okay, good. Fixed it. Go to the next game. That's the type of stuff that we need to do when we're vod reviewing every single game. Low hanging fruit. Thank you, Zykoma. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that, Zykoma. There you go. We're gonna do yours real quick, real quick. Um, VLC. Hello. Not gonna hit me. Oh my god. Not gonna hit me. There we go. Alright, you're wide open. Just basically shooting here. Um you gotta make sure you block your sides. Not haven't gotten punished for it this game, I don't think it's a big deal. For this game, but that's something that maybe maybe make no more mistakes this game. That's something you gotta fix. Right? I'm actually toxic, but he's white. Makes sense. But I think you can finish this kill so much faster if you start actually pressuring him. What you're doing right now is just pressuring his mouse one and his mouse one can be held down forever. So all you're doing is um, basically, you're, you're basically griefing him more than anything, right? He has an opportunity to come back in the game while you're doing this, but you are griefing his chances every, every second. So yeah, you're basically a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can go kill this guy. If I'm you right here, I'm killing this guy. Oh! Okay. At least you got that guy as a consolation prize. <laughs> <laughs> Launchpad for sure. It's like, come on, please take your time, man. There's literally no reason to rush all these edits. Literally, no reason. Is this the. Yeah, this is the. So I'm actually just gonna sit in the cone so I can look out. I am on edge, so I'm gonna have to launch earlier. Let's just do that real quick. 
What's my traps at? I don't use these. Nice launch. Nice launch. I think it's nice because other people would have taken storm damage the way that you waited so long, but you did well by going out one piece. Oof. Oof. A little bit of uh, misbuild there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nice tunnel. Do you need to tunnel right now? Not sure. Wait, what just happened? Nice. I really like that launch pad too. I didn't think about that. You, uh, you do something that a lot of people do, which is build your front first. You should probably build your back first. Build your back, your top, whatever. Obviously, it depends on which situation you're in, but could be. I like the height timing. I think it could have came slightly earlier and uh, maybe towards where the fact that you uh, where you misbuilt that brick. I think you could have just built a small one by one up a little bit, but I like it because you rotated more towards zone. Good. I can't risk it. Yep. Uh, maybe you could have risked it. Glider. Nobody's paying attention to you. Nobody started shooting. shooting you yet. You probably could have risked it. These guys are about to fight. Don't tell me you just land on this guy. Oh my god. Okay. Nasty, brother. Nasty. Nice catch. What's the issue here? What's gonna happen? Someone has an RPG. Need to be aware of it. Forget how this game goes. I'm curious now. Curious now. Nice shot. I can't see him. I literally can't see him, bro. Okay, there you go. There's your biggest mistake. I think you're good. Um, you now know that if you're somebody's in the zone, you either, if you want to fight them, you go in the zone. If you don't want to fight them, then you just build off. <laughs> uh, besides that, like, there you go. You're done. Like, that's it, right? There's very simple. Very simple. Uh, there's tons of stuff that we, can, we, we we talked about. We said a little bit about them, but like, that's the biggest mistake. You fix that. You're fine. You win that game next time. You win that game next time. All right. Last one, just because I really want to review this. Our first mobile fucking VOD review. Let's go, boys. Mobile VOD review. This guy's a young god, bro. This guy is a young god.
Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Look at that boxing. How can you do this on mobile, man? How can you do this? How is he alive? This is pop up. I'm not. Uh, this is pop up. This man is nuts. I would definitely consider breaking this stair in order to not have it be so obnoxious and annoying. Especially because it's halfway in the floor, so it's going to be really, really hard to rotate if you need to. Yo, did you clean him? No way, okay. This guy consistently gets like 40, 30, 30 to 40 points in pop-ups, by the way. Like the old pop-ups. Legit clap. Yo, he just switched his trap while doing all that. He switched his trap to the launch pad. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, because of the way that the stairs are and stuff like that, maybe you want to consider going up a layer. That's definitely a shot you want to take. Oof. Uh, 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 uh. That damage was unnecessary. And definitely, like, as people have some, some people have rules of thumbs where when they land, they go up a layer. That's totally applicable here. I think you could definitely have gone up one more, but you do want to take some some health, so that's fine. Nice breaking this campfire. Jeez, how can you even see that that's a campfire, by the way? Kovacs! Kovacs! Get him out of here! Dude, that reset. Did you see, like, how fast this guy's just fucking resetting shit? Imagine being so good that you can play endgame on mobile. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything to offer, man. You're nuts. Say what? Yeah, I gotta say the awareness here is probably very lackluster. <laughs> I don't know what's possible on mobile, but I think you could definitely do with a lot more information gathering. Okay, that guy was like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna take high ground. Oh, what? Yo, this guy, oh my god. Whoa. Chill. You're nuts. Man tried to build fight him, he said, nah, 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 <laughs> it ain't happening. <laughs> nice connects.
this guy's a god. Somebody exactly sign this dude. Oh, hold up. <laughs> all right, all right, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> oh, nuts. Okay, um, the, the only thing I'm gonna say, I literally didn't see anything besides like the two recommendations that I made. Like you're really, really good and you play slow and you, you, you're thinking about everything and your positioning was good and those shots that you did take were very good. I think this is a very close to, to perfect game, honestly. Um, the only like big, the biggest thing was like when this guy like, when you started fighting for height, this, uh, this, like, like this thing, like, I don't know if you can figure out that that guy's there, but you should know that that guy's there, um, just because you you took your time through this passageway down below, okay? Obviously, that's fine, you killed him, but he could have known that you were there, and he could have killed you when you came through that floor, right? If that guy was paying any more attention, if he was any more better than he is, he could have literally just one-pumped you as you came through this floor, because you didn't know he was there, okay? Um... This guy, whatever, I think you start fighting for height here, and you don't know anything about your situation back behind you because you you just don't look. And this guy as well, you don't know that he's fighting up there. Um, I think you just beat him pretty easily, yeah, especially right now. But I think, I honestly think, man, this game is so good. That, that, yeah, just looking back, looking more around. If you could, If you could increase your awareness by literally just you know, doing a 360 every once in a while, you'd be nuts. But I don't know how much is possible, and and uh, that's the only recommendation I can make on this game, but that's what we do. Every single time we watch a VOD, we come up with one solid thing, whether it's, you know, pretty abstract or not, and come up with a solution to it. So I'd recommend just, hey, just do some 360s every once in a while. <laughs> just look around every once in a while. Look around way more than you are right now. Okay, cool. Anyways, let's... um. I think we're done with the viewers for now. And um, let's get into the pro end games. And I'll have to do another YouTube intro. Oh, I gotta do a YouTube outro for the viewer games. Guys, if you enjoyed watching that, make sure you do hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, do all the things on my social media. We'll be back with more content just like this. Peace.